Welcome to the realm of astrology. This is your daily horoscope for April 15th, which is a Thursday. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the moon. The moon changed signs last night at 11 p.m. From Taurus, it came into the sign of Gemini. And the moon changes signs every two and a half days. And when it changes signs, the focus of our life shifts to that of the sign. So when the moon was in Taurus, till 11 p.m. last night, Pacific time, we were extremely focused on our skills, on our self-worth, on our values, on how we will make money, on maybe eating some good food, on being in nature. And it was a very stable energy. It was a very slow energy, okay? And now the moon has shifted into Gemini, shifted last night at 11 p.m. And what is Gemini energy? Gemini energy is very playful. It's very intellectual. It's very... Um, Curious, it loves to know things, it's very restless also, okay? And so for the next two and a half days, that will be the energy. Curious, intellectual, restless, lots of things going on together. And it is also an energy that focuses on communication, on the mind, on perception, or on, on our immediate environment, what's going on in our immediate environment, on our siblings, on our peer group. Okay, so these are the things we'll be focusing on in the next two and a half days till the moon is in the sign of Gemini. And yesterday, Venus changed signs. It changed from Aries to Taurus. And this was a big deal. Why? Because Venus really does not like to be in the sign of Aries. Aries is a masculine sign. It's ruled by Mars and Venus is a feminine energy. It likes to be in Taurus. So since yesterday, the focus to all things Venus like our relationships, business projects, finances, legal issues, partnerships, skills, self-worth, values, beauty, art, has shifted from a very immediately go-getting sort of energy to a more stable, slow energy. And I believe this is good for us. This is a good change. So with these two changes, the moon changing signs from Taurus to Gemini and Venus changing signs, from Aries to Taurus, we've seen an energy shift. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to touch upon. The next thing that I want to touch upon is the aspects the moon that is that the moon is making. The first aspect is at 7 p.m. Pacific time. The moon is here, okay? You guys can see it, right? It's yeah, it's here. And Chiron is here. They're in a sextile. Sextile is a positive angle. Okay, it facilitates things. And in this case, we are healing. Emotionally, we are healing. Okay, and because Chiron is our deepest wound, but it's also healing. And this is healing connected to the intellectual healing that we began around 9th April and 11th April. On the, uh, when Mercury conjuncted Chiron and with the new moon on 11th April, we started to heal and it was an intellectual process. We understood mentally that, yes, this is what it takes to heal me. Or you had a realization which sort of began the healing process. And now we're at a point where what started for you on April 9th, April 11th is somewhat feeling easier. Okay. And this moon, while it is sextiling Chiron is in a semi-sextile to Uranus. Uranus is here. You guys can see it. Semi-sextile is a 30 degree angle. And what this means is that this healing that we are receiving, the intellectual healing, can come in unexpected ways because Uranus is unexpected. It can come in sudden ways. It can come out of the blue. It can be just an instantaneous realization without much thought going into it. Maybe you're sitting down on a computer and you look at something and you say, oh, okay, I understand now. You know, it could be as basic as that. And this unexpected healing is tied to our self-worth. Suddenly we will feel more healed in our self-worth. And I think that's where we will heal. Yeah, that's where we will heal from. And this self-worth has a lot to do with the identity we're building. Because this new moon was all about starting things, was about constructing your identity, which happened on 11th April. And we found some sort of value in ourselves because of that. We found some sort of self-worth because of that. And that is what is healing us. 
And the next aspect the moon's gonna make is going to happen at about 11 p.m. Yeah, 10, 40 p.m. Pacific time. The moon is going to conjunct the North Node. Now, the North Node is where we are headed. It's our goal, okay? And moon is our emotional body. So what does this conjunction mean? First of all, when a planet conjuncts the North Node, when a planet is near the North Node, the energy is magnified. In this case, our emotions are magnified. And I believe that's a good thing. And our emotions are also tuning up to our goals. Okay? Till now, maybe you had certain goals, but emotionally, perhaps the past was still there with you. Perhaps the self-worth issues were there. Perhaps you didn't think you had the skills. But now emotionally, you're feeling like your values match up, your skills match up, your self-worth matches up to the goal that you've set. The goal that you've set for yourself since May of last year. Okay? And soon after this, at about 11.40 p.m., uh, or post-midnight rather, the moon will, uh, moon will trine Saturn. Okay? And what, what, what is a trine? A trine is a 120 degree angle and it's considered positive. And what is Saturn? Saturn is a builder. It defines things. Okay, in this case, it's defining our emotions. It's setting them in stone. What emotions are those? The emotions of syncing up to our future. The emotions of aligning with our goals. Intellectually, we may want something, but in, emotionally, do we want that? You know, that's it's not always the same thing, but now it's the same thing. Intellectually, what you want is also what you want emotionally. And Saturn is helping you build that, helping you set that emotion in stone, okay? And Saturn squared the moon on April 13th. They made a 90 degree angle. And on April 13th, we maybe took a decision or we decided to change something regarding our emotions. And now we are feeling positive. We're feeling like, yeah, good, I made that change. We're seeing a positive outcome of that change. So that happens at about midnight. Okay. And the next thing I want to talk about is Jupiter, Sun, Sextile. This is still on. I've been speaking about this. Jupiter is blessing our identity, our consciousness. All the work that we are doing to construct our new identity, Jupiter is blessing it. It's giving us gifts. Okay, and another thing about Jupiter is that it hits 26 degrees today. That's a big deal. It's moved one degree up. What this means is if you've been watching my videos, you know that the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction happened in December and that began a 20-year cycle for us, a cycle that's going to last to 2040. And we've seen most of what that cycle is about. But with Jupiter moving one more degree up, we've seen a little more glimpse into what that cycle will entail for us. Okay, and to sum it all up, it's an extremely positive day. There's nothing negative really, and we have a lot of support from the universe. We have a lot of blessings from the universe in moving towards our goal and moving towards our path, and our emotions are syncing up to that goal, to that change, to that life. Okay, and there can be a lot of stimulation with the moon in Gemini. There can be restlessness, there can be curiosity, there can also be anxiety, so just be mindful of that. And that's all I'm going to say for April 15th. And now I'm going to give a little background. So if you've seen this background before, you can put off the video now. But if you have an eye you to watch, the first thing that I want to mention is that Chiron is here and Saturn is here. They have been in a sextile almost all year. They came exact on Feb 9th and around then we started to take a decision. We started to build something that will become tangible by the end of the year and that something will heal our identity. So that's one energy that we're going to be in all year. The second energy that we're going to be in all year is Saturn square Uranus, okay? Saturn is here and Uranus is here and they're in a square, a 90 degree angle. And the gist of this energy is that we have to come into our authentic self. We have to leave behind who we think we should be and become who we actually are on the inside. And by the end of the year, as the square gets over, that real authentic self will become tangible will become palpable. And this may not feel easy because the square feels challenging. 
The next thing that I want to talk about is something that I mentioned briefly. Saturn and Jupiter conjuncted in December of 2020. They met up at zero degrees of Aquarius. And when they meet up, they begin a 20-year cycle. And since then, we've seen most of what this cycle is going to be about because Jupiter has traversed 26 degrees of Aquarius. But it's going to take us two more years till 2023 to lay the foundations for this new cycle that's going to be with us till 2040. The next thing that I want to talk about is that Saturn and Pluto conjuncted last January, Jan 2020. They conjunct once in 35 to 38 years. So they ended a cycle that began for us between 1982 and 1984 and began a new one. Okay, this new cycle start in Jan of 2020 changed our material reality completely. This January, January of 2021, we saw that cycle come alive. However, it's not going to come alive fully till June. It's not going to be completely activated till June. And the last thing that I want to mention is that the nodes, the North Node and the South Node, the North Node is in the sign of Gemini and the South Node is in the sign of Sagittarius. They were in the same placement between 2001 and 2003. So whatever you started back then, whatever themes came into your life back then, you will probably be resolving those themes, building on them or reviewing them, whatever it is for you. So that's all I'm going to leave you with. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.